Hey y'all. Hey. I got so much to tell y'all. Listen. Listen, listen, listen. I have so much to tell y'all what's been going on, right? <sighs> Let me get all my yarns out because I'm not gonna be yarning through this. I'm gonna give me a good 10 minutes. I'm gonna be done with this, right? Listen. I want to tell y'all about all I went through during this event. Y'all know this event was, oh my God, listen, I had been wanting to do an event forever, for the record. I had been wanting to do an event forever, and I finally arrived, and I got it done, y'all. But listen, before I get to talking about this event, listen, I have been watching my analytics. I think that's what it's called. Listen, so many people was watching my videos, but they y'all are not subscribed to me. Listen, what do I have to do to get you guys to subscribe? Because y'all please tell me that. I don't, I don't, listen, if you subscribe to me, I don't even think I'm going to know it's you, right? So could y'all please just subscribe? I'm asking nicely. And not only that, tell me what you want. What could I do to make you subscribe? Is it anything that you want to hear? Um, maybe if you come here in secret, I don't know, but is there anything in particular you want me to um to talk about? I will do that to get you to subscribe. But anyway, even if you don't subscribe, I appreciate you. I am so sleepy. I appreciate you taking the time out to subscribe. Because if I'm not, um, if you're not subscribed to me, I'm assuming you must have to go and put my name in in a search box. But I just want to thank you guys for that. But listen, 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 listen. This event, y'all. I have been wanting to do an event for a long time. I had already visualized it and everything. My energy drink to keep me up. So, I took notes this time. I'm, I'm trying to start to be more productive in my videos, y'all. I'm trying. Y'all know I be all over the place because it's how my mind is, right? So, the first thing I had to do to do this event... First off, God had already gave me the vision. He had already told me what he wanted me to do and how he wanted me to get it done. So I had the blueprint from the Lord on how to get it done, right? I just had to do it. So y'all know faith without works is dead, right? You could say you want to do something all day long or God can give you a vision about something. But if you don't have faith and if you don't have no work in you, it's not going to happen. So the first thing I had to do, I had to find a place. So... This journey kind of be blowing me with my videos, y'all. And I know it be blowing y'all. So, the first thing I had to do was find a place. So, one of my authors that I had published her book this year, she had her book signing at her church. And the setup was really nice to me. And I felt like my first event, I wanted it to be at a church anyway. Just like my first book was a spiritual book. I always want to give God thanks first. So, I... Decided to have it there. I asked her, could I have the event there? And she agreed. She agreed to let me have the event there. So she first she told me that I can give a donation of anything. So I'm like, okay. But in my mind, I had already said it. I want. I was gonna give a thousand. I mean, a thousand, a hundred dollar donation for me having it there. So then I had to go and give me a guest list together. So what I did was I. Um, I went on Facebook and I created an event and the people that I know that know I've been doing this for a very long time or people that I was in constant communication with way before I went public, I added all of them. I added maybe, man, I added a lot of people, y'all. I added probably 300. I added maybe 300 and some people, y'all, seriously, because my thing was I was really only adding 50. I only was really expecting 50, right? But out of the 50, I knew if I add, if I invite 50, 25 might come. So I would have invited 25, maybe 10 would have came. So my thing was to invite 50 people. So I did that. I, I went on the thing. So I had a number of 33 people saying that they was going to come, right? So I'm like, okay, out of the 33, I should at least get 20 is what I'm thinking, right? Cool. So I was done with that part. So then I had to go and figure out the decorations, how I wanted the decorations to be. So I um I knew I had wanted one of those uh what are those retractable um banners. I had wanted one of those. So I got that. 
I had got the um, payment scan thing where you put your phone up to it and it scan. I had got one of those. I had got business cards. I had got bookmarks. Now, I could not get the pens. That's the only thing that I couldn't get because I didn't do my planning good enough. See, this stuff requires a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of planning. So, I could not get the pens because if I would have ordered the pens and got them custom made, they was going to come after the event. So, I supposed to have got that done two months ahead of time so i didn't get pins there y'all i ain't like that because i had no pins there and then i had oh uh, i also had got <sighs> listen to mom give me some sleep let me try to anyway i also had got a tablecloth so on my tablecloth he said let's get educated that was so cute to me y'all because y'all know that's my little scene i always say i need to get that um trademark too for somebody chest it but and I also had got some red, um, these little red diamond things. And I had put the red diamond things over the table. That was real, real cute, y'all. I'm talking about real cute. And I had to order books. So let me tell y'all what I did. So the 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 event was a HIV awareness event slash book signing. So y'all know my kids collab with me on a book. I'm going to put the book, um, I'm going to put the link to, so that y'all can purchase the book in the um the descriptions and if you want to get a signed copy by me and all my kids you can actually um order one for me personally so i'm gonna put all that in the comments but the book was meant to be be released oh the book was meant to be released on uh real ace day which would be december the first so what i had to do was i had to publish the book i think i published the book November the 3rd or 5th, somewhere around that. It's the first or the second week. The first week, the first week of December. So I published the paperback book, right? So then when it was, um, when it was, when it went published, I ordered 50 books. So I was done with that. So I never told nobody that I had already published the book. I waited until the day, December the 1st, and then I uploaded the ebook part. So that made it. The book was published on that day, but it actually was published. The paperback was published before that. The ebook was published on Royal AZ. So the same difference, right? So I had got that done. So listen, for the record, let me tell y'all. Y'all know I'm going to keep it 100 with y'all. All the way 100. That book have errors in it. <laughs> and I am so upset about it. I didn't see this until I was looking through the book the other day. Um, collaboration is spelled wrong on the front page and the third page you can't really tell because of the front that i use but i'm just letting you know if you order a, if you order a signed copy from me and my kids it's going to be two errors in the book i got to keep it honey because listen that's what make you become better when you're able to identify and identify your flaws right so what i did was i went in and i I corrected it and I re-uploaded on Amazon, so it's perfect now. But the 50 books that I did, um, that I did order for the book have two errors in it. But I'm not tripping. Ain't nobody said nothing yet. But I know, I know that it's there. So for me, me being a publisher, um, and me being an author, that's something that I have to do better with. Um, rechecking my stuff, which I checked it several times. But see, this is the thing where I need proofreaders, y'all. Listen. If you want to be a proofreader for me and my company, listen, please send me an email. My email is uniquepresents at yahoo.com. I am looking for a good editor and a good proofreader moving forward. This is a learning process for me. I am building an empire. It, see, building takes a lot. You got to take a lot of loss. You got to learn. You got to mess up. So I'm, I'm able to accept that. I messed up. But also, moving forward, I ain't going to keep messing up. So that was that with that. So then I I ordered me and my kids shirts. My shirt had my nonprofit um logo on it. Um with the at the bottom it said Unique Purpose. <sighs> Unique Purpose Inc. at the bottom. And then my kids had co-opt or whatever, co-opt or whatever with all their names on it. I thought that was really cute. So I had to order the shirts. So also I had to have speakers. So everybody always told me if you have an event, you definitely want to have a nurse. So my little brother, baby mama, she's a nurse. She used to be a CNA. Me and her used to be really, really close. So I definitely want to let nobody, not another nurse speak and not let her speak. So I let her speak. A good friend of mine, her name is LaSherry. Um, she got a book coming out too, y'all. Be staying tuned. Um, she's been positive, I think, 23 years. She spoke. 
um, a guy named Chris. He's newly diagnosed. Well, he's not newly diagnosed. He came out the day of my event. That was his first time ever seeing publicly that um, in front of people that he was HIV positive. So that was really cool. I think he's been positive 10 years. He has a book, too, coming soon. Stay in tune. And also, it was a man that showed up with another one of my um, guests. Um, he's been positive 35 years. Listen, what's absolutely freaking amazing to hear his story of um, how things worked out for him and his situation. But listen to me. I had YouTube, two of my YouTubers came. Two of my Facebook friends came. And listen, my YouTubers live in Detroit, Michigan. And y'all know who y'all are. I ain't going to put you on blast. But my YouTubers came to my event from Detroit. They drove... Actually, I think Indianapolis or Detroit, one of them. I know he said he drove. He, he lived in two states. But he said he drove four hours just to um to come and support me. He said he wouldn't have missed it for the world. I'm sorry, this is my boo. Me and him, we've been knowing each other for, I think, a year. It ain't even been that long. It's probably going to be two years me and him been knowing each other. It feel like I've been knowing him forever. Um, I met him through YouTube. And then, look at me, I'm going to tell a whole other story. But I got to tell this real quick. So, we met through here YouTube. And then, one day, he was passing through Chicago. And um, he asked to take me to um, to dinner. And we went and ate Buffalo Wild Wings and had a drink. And then after that, I had went to his house. Like, literally, y'all, for real, I did this. I drove to Detroit, Michigan for the 4th of July um, to be with him and his family. It was absolutely amazing. Um, and ever since then, we just clicked. His kids, talked to my kids and everything. Like, we're really, really close. Um, so, yeah. So, he came. And then uh, two of my Facebook friends came, and of course other people came too, but I wanted to point that out. People say that social media is really messy. It depends on who on your, um, who you following that, <sighs> that might make your page, make your page messy. I don't have a, a messy page. I done met some amazing people, y'all. When I say amazing people, I met some absolutely amazing people. So the next thing I had to do was, I had to have refreshments, right? For my people so i had sandwiches me and my kids we made sandwiches earlier that day like i'm gonna post all this stuff on um on my um instagram i just ain't got around to posting it yet we made sandwiches i made sandwiches i had ordered pringles from off amazon the little cups of pringles we had granola bars and we had water and we i had about a box i had about a box these little boxes off of um off of what it was, um, Amazon too. I had bought the boxes and then I had bought um bought napkins and I put all that up in that. So that's what we had for refreshments. So listen, doing all this time, I was doing all these different things. Cause listen, I had to get a um I had to get a uh flyer made for the the pre orders. I had to get a flyer made for the event itself. I was working, y'all. I was working and listen, alone away from this this event was December the 4th. I dropped a book on Black Friday. So I was literally in between two books, writing and doing all of that, making sure that stuff was good, and planning this event. I'm telling y'all, I am like beats. Y'all know that, right? So I literally worked through all of this. My goal was to get 17, I was supposed to get 800 flyers, and I was supposed to put them in 17 CNA 17 facilities, but listen, my car, during this time, my car overheated, and I had to pay for my car to get fixed, and it was so scary, because I'm like, I'm using too much money to get this car fixed, I might not be able to have my event, but listen, praise be to God, it all worked out, but I was not able to do the 18, the 17 nursing homes, but listen, moving forward, I still can do that, because I still have that book, and it don't take nothing to go and order those flyers and get it done. So that's something that I'm going to do moving forward. And then when I do it, because I am going to do it, I'm going to make sure that my kids record me so y'all can see it happening. So listen, y'all. My kids have not yet realized that they are published authors. They don't even understand it. And I'm okay with that. They're not understanding because whenever they get it, it's going to be life-changing for them. This may not mean nothing right now, but in the near future, when they get a little older, they'll understand what's going on. We basically building a legacy. We um creating something, something amazing. You know, like I sit and I go and I do these do these videos and I do my coaching sessions and my um workshops with people and everything. That's helping people. And I y'all know um I really love what I do. I really love helping people. But now with my kids putting their emotions to a poem, that can possibly be 
my kids can start helping people too because they know how it feels to have a mother, a mother living with HIV and the things that, that they went through with me, being positive, being sad, depressed, and being not available for them at times. All of them, my kids went through that. So they can probably be of, of assistance to children too when they get older. See, this is all about the helping people become better helping them feel better and bring hope y'all that's what this is all about so the last thing i want to talk about y'all is i had to speak to um oh my god hold on i'll be back i'm back y'all one of my residents had got out the bed horrible right you missed on my video now i have to put these videos together and put it on um my my movies i don't like that because my head be cut off i don't like it but hey i gotta do what i gotta do so listen my last thing i want to talk about y'all is i had to speak at my event listen my friend y'all know my friend um uh, started spiritual advisor a lot of you guys came over to my channel from her she um basically told me to make a channel um everything like helped me along the way with so many different things um just branding myself um getting myself out that far as this youtube channel and stuff and just not being afraid to speak right weird i had to speak at my event 72 hours after my friend had died and that really really bothered me because she had never um saw me speak publicly before that would have been the first time we did lives together and everything she interviewed me i've been on her platform she's been on mine but to for me to speak publicly at my own event she missed that she didn't get the opportunity to see me in that element and that really hurt me and also i had to share my story and tell how I, I tell she she played a big part in my story but yeah i had to say that i had to go through that and i'm i thank god that i made it through it i didn't think i was gonna make it through it um so i was able to do that but i actually had a wonderful time at the event and i have decided that i'm gonna have events every year for world aids day real aids day means a whole lot that was the first time that i went public um, with my HIV status. So that was like my um, three year anniversary to me being a publicly, a public, a, a woman publicly living with HIV. That was my three year anniversary. So moving forward, um, next, I'm going to have another one next year, but I'm going to try to have a bigger event next year. I'm going to plan better this time. I'm going to do it a little different. I also want to take HIV tests there um, and everything. And I want a doctor to be there too. Um, I know a lot of doctors and nurses um, that I worked with over the years. So I'm gonna see if I can get to have a doctor there um, and a psychologist or a psychiatrist or something like that. Have them there and counselors as well to speak out in regards to um, the experiences with people um, with the acceptance of being HIV positive. I definitely wanna do that. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm gonna be doing next year, y'all. And hopefully me and my kids can come with another book, um, volume two of um, HIV Thoughts. Or if it's not me and my kids, I could probably do a collab book with, um, a couple of people that's HIV positive and we um, collab together and it'd be valuable to never know what God has in store for that. But that was my experiences with my event. Overall, I had a wonderful time and I thank God for um, allowing me to, to do it because if it wasn't for him, it wouldn't have been possible. So I definitely um, thank God for allowing me to experience that it was absolutely amazing um if you have not yet watched the video um i was able to record some of the video um i actually was able to go live i was talking to one of the, the, the um the ladies that was at the church about this was my anniversary and she was like you wait a minute you got a youtube channel i'm like yeah and she just got my phone and put it on you know she had put it on and um I missed, we missed, I missed two speakers. I wasn't able to get two speakers in there. And then once I was done speaking, I just stopped it then. I didn't want to go a little too, too long with it. It's like an hour. So if you have not yet watched it, I'm going to put that in the description too. Y'all, thanks a lot for being through these videos with um, this um, nervousness that I have. I still yarn and I don't even understand it. It's weird. This, it's been almost four minutes. I have not yarned at all. It's crazy when I'm, um, I think once I get comfortable, the yarning stops you know but it's weird y'all pray for me pray for me on that so that i can stop this yarn it's so it's so um what is it called unprofessional <laughs> i don't like it i don't like it at all but I, honestly i can't help it i really honestly can't help it it'd it be doing it on its own but listen that was my experiences with my event if y'all have any questions or concerns about my event or if i didn't um say something please let me know listen 
y'all me and my kids sat there and signed those books it was absolutely amazing watching my kids sign their name on books y'all don't even know this is called legacy building what i'm doing right now they have no clue what it is the bible says a, a good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children that's deep y'all y'all enjoy the rest of y'all day and i'm about to upload this video and it's like almost three in the morning yes i'm about to upload this video y'all enjoy y'all saturday